Hello, good evening. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, good evening, everyone. Welcome to the class. Hello, hello, hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? So, so. So, so. Yeah. Um, a, little, a little problem with my tooth. <laughs> oh, did you have the, the appointment <clears throat> today? Yeah. And uh, no, um, the appointment, appointment, the doctor was uh, the, the pass, the pass, pass uh, tomorrow. Oh, it will be for tomorrow. Yes. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, <laughs> I hope it's not so painful. Mm, it's the moment. No. Ah, uh, relax. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> yeah, I know that going to the dentist is is terrible, right? Ah, uh, I headache. <laughs> I know, me too. <laughs> but well, we have to do it. <laughs> All right. And how was your weekend? Mm, uh, this weekend, um, uh, I worked. I was the the chief. Oh, Saturday and Sunday. Oh my gosh. So you uh, couldn't rest. I have no, no rest. <laughs> oh my goodness. Sorry to hear that. Yeah. Okay. But here you are. Thanks for the effort. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And uh, the, thing, the sacrifice, uh, the future, the frutos. Uh, it's worth it. You can say that it's worth it worth it's it worth it that worth. means that means that uh, um vale la pena mm -hmm. ah okay worth it mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah all right absolutely so thanks for the effort very good job all yeah. right well i can see who else is there uh, by the way i have a lot of listeners today so, but uh, let me see the ones that are not. I can see Kevin Alfredo. Hello, Kevin. How are you? Hello, teacher. I am fine. How was your weekend? Uh, it was very funny because I go to the mall. Mm -hmm. I go to the Super Selector. Okay. I... I did uh, my my homework, but no homework. No homework from English. here. <laughs> I I study. I I am studying uh diploma. Um, you can say a degree. A degree of logistics and and I did this. Homework, but ah, okay. I forget to do the English homework. <laughs> <laughs> my goodness, my goodness. All right, we are going to talk about it. Don't worry, <laughs> but give me some minutes. But I'm glad you're here. Thank you for coming to the class. And thanks to everyone for being here. How was your weekend, guys? Anything interesting? What do you do? Uh huh. Sifrido, Osman, Osman Enrique, Edwin. How was your weekend, guys? Good evening, teacher. Hello. How Osman? are you? I'm great. And you? Um, today I'm great, but last weekend uh, I was very sick. I had fever oh my uh, God. flu okay yes. but now uh, i'm okay all right that's good i'm i'm glad that you feel better today yeah in fact, teacher, in uh -huh. fact uh, last friday uh, was my uh, day very very sick yeah i know you were in here 
but ah, <laughs> but, <laughs> but now, now you, I, you here. are here <laughs> yeah so i'm glad i'm glad that you feel better and I, yeah guys so be careful guys i think that is because of the weather there are like many changes one day we have raining and the other day is so hot so i think that, that is affecting our health so how about right now guys is it raining in your city right now Rainy, yes ah, okay yes. yeah with thunders ah really yeah okay well, that's good. So you will have a fresh night. That's great. Good. Okay, welcome everybody. I can see a few people with the camera on, but thanks guys for being on time. Thank you so much for the camera on. I'm really happy to see you. And let's start. Today, guys, we have a lot of practice as always. So I hope that you're ready to participate. Do you remember the topic that we started last week? Uh -huh. uh, uh, very good. We studied reported speech, specifically past tense. Ah, uh, very good. We were studying right different just no questions in different grammar tenses, right? So I hope that you remember because we are going to have some practice about it. Now, before starting, guys, I just want to remind you your homeworks. Okay, so this is the platform. This is the progress that we have until now. Can you see the platform, everybody? Yes. 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 Okay. Right now, guys, we are already working in the unit number two. Okay. So in this moment, you must need, I mean, you, you have to be working in the unit number two. However, there are some people that they haven't even finished the unit number one, and I need to know what's going on, okay? So, for example, well, remember, guys, that the minimum score that you can get in the platform is the 80%, okay? That's the minimum. However, guys, if you want to get a good score, you can repeat the exercise and get a better score, okay? So in this moment, um, few people have finished the unit number one. For example, Amanda, eh, Lorena, they finished. Uh, Boris already has 80% as Carlos. Um, Carlos Ernesto and Carlos Mauricio, you got 100%, so that's great. Um, Edwin with 80, so far so good. Eulise with 92, so that's good. But look, I don't want to say name, guys, but I can see some people with the 0%. You haven't started yet. And I need to know the reason why. Do you have issues to enter to the platform? Or is because you don't understand the exercises? Or what's what's happening? If you have some issues, let me know. I can help you with that. Okay? Some of your classmates send me some messages when they find an exercise that is difficult that maybe they don't understand very well, and I try to help them. So if you find an exercise that you don't know how to do it, just let me know and I will try to help. But I need guys that you start working. Remember that the platform is not optional. It's an obligation. If you don't do the platform, you cannot move to the next level. Okay? Now, um, look at this one. Salvador, 100%. Sounds good. Josman, 80%. Kevin Alexander, 100%. That's good. I can see Kevin, Kevin. You did your other homework. So. Yeah, me teacher. <laughs> Let's Excuse start me. working here, okay? Very yeah, good. I'm going to try uh, tomorrow to or advance in my homework. Yes, 
please try, try. Remember guys, um, at least five minutes. You can take five minutes, you can complete one uh, exercise. Next day, another five minutes, complete the next exercise. And so on and so on, okay? Uh, Nelson, 100%, very good, a uh, very good score. Oscar, my goodness, what's going on? I cannot see progress. So let's just start working on the platform, please. Then I have Osman with 80%, very good. And let's see, let's see, over here I have Pamela, 80%, and she's already working in the unit two, that's good. Rafael, my gosh, my gosh. Ricardo, 96, that's a good progress. Ifrido, 80%, very good. And Wilbur with 100%. And actually it has 40 in the next unit. So very good progress. So again, everybody, please, I mean, if you have doubt, tell me. If you have issues, like for example, teacher, I cannot enter to the platform. So let me know so we can see what's the problem and we can try to fix it. Now, I'm going to explain one of the exercises that appears in the platform that some of your classmates um, told me and we are going to check the exercise here in case that you haven't done it or in case that you don't understand why the exercise uh, for example, some of you sent me some screenshots. Some of you told me, hey, teacher, why my answer is incorrect, right? Or I don't understand what I need to do in this exercise. <clears throat> Sorry. So we are going to verify it right now, okay? In case that you haven't done this exercise, please pay attention and you can take notes. Um, give me a second. Let me open up the exercise. Okay, let's see. Okay, this exercise is in the unit number one. I had different people told me that they cannot do this exercise, so we are going to resolve it together. Unit one, the exercise is the 1.5. Okay, in this one, we need to rewrite the sentences using the reported speech. Now, you have to keep in mind, guys, that <clears throat> in the platform, when you have an exercise that you need to type the answer, you need to keep in mind that uh, you have to be very carefully because if one letter is wrong, the answer will be wrong. If you forgot one of the points at the end of the sentence, the answer will be wrong. If you don't respect punctuation, capital letters, that can affect you and the answer will be wrong, okay? So look at the first one. Big online stores say, trusted brands have a strong reputation. So the first things that we need to do is switch. We need to say the verbs in past. So instead of saying say, what am I going to say? I can say big online store. Look, said. Okay, that's something that they said in the past. And what did they said? When we are reporting, we are not saying literal every single word. That's why, guys, the quotation marks is not necessary. So uh, in this case, the answer will be big online stores said trusted brands. Look, in this case, we don't change anything because that's the proper name, okay? And then it says, have a strong reputation. Now, in this case, guys, if you see, it says have, and in the correct answer, it's saying that is 
have. Some of you sent me the answer and you say, okay, teacher, we need to change it into the past. So can we say had? Let's try. If you send that answer, maybe it's going to take it as incorrect. Now, and this is what I want to explain. Remember everybody that sometimes the platform um, has some errors and actually I already reported it, okay? So if it is giving you an error, you can take the screenshot and send it to me and I will send you the answer that appears in the platform so you can get the correct story. In this case, we are going to keep it as in present because that is the answer that has been set. Okay, and unfortunately, that is something that I cannot modify. So the only verb that is going to change in the number one is the verb say. And don't forget, in this case, if you add the dot, let me see, it's going to take it as incorrect. I'm explaining these guys because these are some of the common mistakes that the platform have. So you need to try it again. Si no les acepta con el punto, well, eliminemos el punto, okay? And that's the correct answer. Unfortunately, guys, y como les digo, ya lo he reportado varias veces. Entonces, si con el punto está equivocado, quítenselo. O si ustedes de repente no le han colocado el punto y les aparece equivocado, intenten colocarle el punto. Y así les va a aparecer. I know that it's something um, like an extra work, but try to do it. And in the case that you can never have the correct answer, let me know and I will help you with that. Okay, in the next one says specialist say. Again, we need to change the verb. Instead of say, we are going to say, look, said. PayPal is more secure than debit cards. So everybody, what do you think? What will be the answer? Especially it said, PayPal was. Ah, very good. Most was. It than exactly. And then the rest is the same. And look at this one. Here, I added the dot. If I delete the dot and I send the answers, look, it's going to appear as incorrect. So what I need to do, I try with the dot. I added it and I send the answer. And now the answer is correct. So that's why I say you need to try with both options, okay? Because as I mentioned, that can be an error from the platform that I already reported it. So maybe we need to wait until they fix it. Now, next one. A friend says, instead of says, we are going to say said. said. Now, some of you said teacher, but I can change it. Instead of saying a friend, you can say my friend. Or instead of saying my friend, we can easily say just he. But as I mentioned, guys, unfortunately, the answers has been set. Ya está establecida y programada la respuesta. Si la respuesta, I mean, doesn't match with the ones that you are typing, it's going to be incorrect, okay? So in this case, you have to change only the details that are necessary. So a friend said, and then we have offers that, instead of are, we are going to say offers that, look, where to go to be through. Now, instead of saying may, we are going to change the model for the version that is in past. Normally, guys, we use the modal might to talk in simple past. So, might be a scam. If you write the same modal, may, and if you send the answer, look is going to be taken as incorrect. Instead of writing may, change it and write might. That, that is the model that we use 
in the simple past. So might be true, uh, might be a scam, and look at the last point. Number four, a blogger. Again, look, I don't change it. I leave the information exactly as it is. I changed the verb in past. A blogger said mobile phone networks look where instead of saying are. And the rest of the sentence is exactly the same dot at the end. Okay, the last one, consumers report. What is the past form of report? Uh-huh, look, reported, okay, reported. Deals, look, we changed the verb. Deals were often, and the rest of the sentence, guys, is exactly the same, okay? And the point at the end of the sentence. And basically, guys, this is the way that we can resolve the exercise 1.5. I know that is a little bit confusing, but again, these are from some of the errors that the platform has. Got it? Yes? Is it clear yes, that exercise? Yes. Okay. Um, any questions that you may have about that exercise, everyone? So uh, can we repeat that exercise? Absolutely, right. yes. So guys, every time that you have um, issues with one exercise, you can repeat it again. Remember that the idea of this platform um, is not to reprove you. The idea of this platform is that you learned, okay? So if you want to do the exercise again, I mean, do it. There's no problem at all. Now, before continue, there is another exercise that one of your classmates, uh, well, some of your classmates actually, because there were more than one, um, told me, let me open up the exercise, but I just want to see if this one is the correct. I'm explaining these guys because I know that some of you are trying to work on the platform. So I'm just trying to help you in order that you get a good score. Okay, um, I think that this is the one. Mm -mm. No, I think it's not the one, I'm not sure. Okay, give me a moment. I cannot find it. Okay, I think that this is the one. To understand this exercise, we need to practice the topics that we already studied because it's basically the topics that we are going to study today. I think that it is this one. Can you see the exercise? Yes? Yes. Okay. In this case, guys, the first part, they are commands. That means... What is the synonym for commands? Orders, imperatives. So you need to use a reported speech as the imperative. And if you scroll down, the second part is about the yes, no questions. So the reported speech is going to be a little bit different from each part. Now, I'm going to share with you the way that you can answer uh, look at this one. I'm going to share, guys, the answers with you. In the first part, it says, he said, exercise regularly. And in brackets, it's telling you the verb that you have to use. 
And remember, we need to switch the verb in past. So what is the answer here? He told me in simple past. And remember the rules for the imperatives. I need the verb in infinitive, look. So he told me to exercise regularly. Some people got the mistake that continue using the verb said. But remember, in brackets, we have the verbs that we need to use. So be careful with that. Remember, if it is in negative, ah, don't turn off the light. Okay, the verb that I'm going to use is order. He ordered, simple past. He ordered, remember, not to turn off the light. That is an imperative. Um, so please use the same verb that is in brackets in simple past. Next one, the sign says, don't drink and drive. Now, the verb that we are going to use is requests. The sign requests not to drink and drive. Now, here, in my opinion, is a mistake of the platform. Because if you see, it says requests and it's still in present. So you may think, okay, teacher, but why? Why this is in present? Why we don't change it? And the idea here, guys, is, estamos hablando de un letrero. El letrero sigue diciendo lo mismo hoy, mañana y pasado mañana, right? Because the sign is always in the same place. That's why it's not in simple past. That's why is that we don't say, ah, the sign requested, right? No, why? Because today it will say the same. Tomorrow the sign is going to say the same. So that's why we are going to say it in present. The sign requests, negative, not to drink and drive. Okay, is it clear? The number three, everyone? Yes? Yes. Yes, teacher. All right. Next one, it says number four. She said, keep quiet. What is the verb that I'm going to use? Instruct. Okay. So she instructed now in simple past because this is something that she said in simple past at the difference with the sign. So she instructed me to keep quiet. Some of you has incorrect answer because guys, you don't use the preposition to, or sometimes you modify the verb. If I have the preposition to, that means that the verb is in infinitive. That means no changes. Can I say uh, to kept, for example? Some people change the verb. Can I say to kept? Is that correct? Yes or no? What do you think, everybody? No. 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 Not really, because this kept is in simple past. I need the verb in infinitive. infinitive. So I need to say to keep, okay? Um, what else? Number five, uh, he told her. Now look, I'm going to use the same verb that is in brackets. So he told her, here again, in my opinion, this is a mistake of the platform because it doesn't have the preposition to, okay? That's why guys, I'm sharing these answers to you because the correct one, it has to say, um, he told her to go and lay down. That's the correct one. However, in the answer, it doesn't have the preposition to, okay? So in my opinion, this is a mistake of the platform, all right? So um, if you want, copy exactly as I am sharing it right now, and don't forget to add the point at the end. Is it clear, the number five? Yes? 
Yes, teacher. All right. Then this is with the commands, but then we have the yes, no question. Last week we practiced yes, no question. So the first one says, do you live with your family? What is the grammar tense here? Simple present. Past, simple present. Exactly, simple present. If I have a sentence in simple present, I'm going to report it in which grammar tense? Pass. Simple, pass. Simple pass. Exactly, that's the correct one. So I'm going to say, uh, do you live with your family? So he asked me, don't forget the word if, so he asked me if I, and the verb in past, if I lived with my family. I know that in this case, the instructions maybe is not that specific. Uh, some of you had the mistake that you wrote this. Ah, David asked me. No, easy. He asked me. If you see, all of the sentences will be with he asked me. In this part, we are not going to change it, okay? The only things that you need to change, guys, is the verb in past. Uh, can I talk to you for a minute? He asked me if he could. So, verb in past. Do you speak Spanish? He asked me if I spoke, okay? Verb in past. Um, is that your cat? He asked me if that was my cat. So the only things that we are going to change here is the grammar tense. Um, are you listening to me? He asked me if I was listening to him. That's the way that we are going to answer this part. And I know that, again, there are different options. As I mentioned before, instead of saying he, we can say, ah, David asked me, yes. But remember, the platform has a established answer. If your answer doesn't match with the ones that the platform has, the answer is going to be incorrect. Even when your sentence make, it makes sense. Got it? Yes? everyone yes so yes my recommendation is that you copy the sentences exactly as i'm sharing now do you have any questions so far guys about the platform uh can you let me see the second one please oh sure there it is thank you thank you you're very welcome any other question everyone So please, every time that you see an exercise, um, try to do it. If you feel, hey, the answer is incorrect, but I'm pretty sure that my answer is the correct one, you have to consider that maybe it's an error of the platform. And when it is like that, guys, I highly recommend again to do the exercise again in order that you can match the answer with the platform, or you can send me a screenshot if your answer is correct so it's a mistake of the platform what i can do is to sum up the points the ones who were studying with me in the previous course you see right? i mean you could see that cada vez que la plataforma tenía un error yo le sumaba los puntos a ustedes porque su respuesta sí estaba correcta right así que pueden hacer lo mismo siempre y cuando you can take a screenshot and send it to me to prove that you have the correct answers. Uh, did you copy the answers or yes, everyone? Any other questions that you may have? The, the question uh, four, oh. I'm copy. Okay, give me a second. There it is. Let me know when you finish. So every time, guys, that you had an exercise that you don't know the answer, you don't understand, please send it and a screenshot on WhatsApp's group, okay? So we can help each other to resolve it. Finished, teacher. 
Excellent, Thank pretty you. good. You're very welcome. Okay, now before I continue, guys, I'm going to check attendance. You know what to do when I say your name, say present. Um, Amanda Zamora Miranda. Okay, Ana Lorena Lovato. Boris Alexander Cortez. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos present teacher. I'm sorry? Uh, oh, present Ana Lorena, yes. Yes, okay, thank you. Thanks. All right. Carlos Alberto Dominguez. Carlos Ernesto Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you. Um, Carlos Mauricio Menjiva. Present. Thank you. Edwin Antonio Quinteros. Present. Thank you. Elias Neftali Martinez. Okay. Eulice Torres Torres. I think he's listener. Irma Evelyn Rodriguez. Okay. Um, Jose Salvador Bernal. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Josman Atilio Serrano. Okay. Present. Okay, thank you. Kevin Alexander Perez. Kevin Alfredo Lucero. Present. Okay. Maria Jose Sigüenza. Nelson Alberto Peraza. Present. All right. Oscar Alexis Lara. Present teacher. Thank you. Osman Enrique Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you. Pamela Carolina Molina. Present. Thank you. Rafael Alexar Alexander Serna. Present teacher. Thank you. Ricardo Ernesto Pérez. Cifrido Ernesto Gómez. All right. Wilber Alberto Pérez. And Andrea Jamilet Mendoza. All right. Now, let's start with Present, the class. Sorry. All right. Present, okay. Thank you, Andrea. Very good. Okay. Now, let's start, everybody, with the topic for today. Time flies, and we have a lot of practice to do. Let me start sharing the presentation. Uh, can you see the presentation, everybody? Yes. yes. Excellent. Okay, so today is August 21st, and this is the topic that we are going to study today. Reported speech with information questions. Can you tell me, guys, what are the information questions? Maybe double each, double each question. Those are the ones, exactly. The difference between the yes, no questions and the information questions is that the information questions include the double H words. Very good job. Okay, this is the class objective. I need a volunteer, please, for reading the class objective. Me, teacher. Yes, go ahead. Okay, class objective. At the end of this class, participants will learn how to use reported speech with just no questions in future and information questions in different grammar tenses. Thank you. So that is exactly what we are going to do. Reported speech, just no questions in future, and then information questions, guys, in different grammar tenses, in present, in past, in future. Okay, so... Today, we are going to combine different grammar tenses. I hope you studied the verbs because today, guys, we are going to need it. Now, let's start with a quick review. Yesterday, well, last Friday, we started the just no questions. Remember the rules. If the sentence is in simple past, in which grammar tense are we going to report it? Mm -hmm. In the past? past perfect. perfect. For example, can you tell me, guys, a yes no question in simple past? Uh huh. 
did you work today? Can you repeat? I couldn't hear you. Did you work today? Very good. Did you work today? So, what did he ask everyone? He asked if you have worked, 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 worked today. All right. What do you think, guys? Is that correct? Uh, the part me. He asked me. Ah, we can add. He asked me, but can I, if I'm talking about me, can I say, he asked me if you? What do you think? No, I. Ah, I. exactly. So he asked me if I had work today. So look, we change the grammar tense. If the sentence is in past, look, we change it into the past perfect. Okay? Let me ask individually. So let me start with da -da -da -da. oh my gosh. Nelson. Hello, Nelson. Hello, teacher. Okay, Nelson. I will tell you a question in simple past. Do you have to report it into the correct tense? Okay. For example, let's see. Um did you go to the party? What did she ask? Uh, she asked me if I had go uh, went to the party. Okay, went to the party. Are you sure? Go on. Do I need the go verb on. in past or in past? Yes, in past participle. Sorry. Ah. Ah, very good. So she asked me Thank you. if I had gone. Nelson, pick one of your classmates, please. Kevin Alfredo. Thank you. Hello, Kevin. Hello. Let's see. Um, <laughs> did you work on the platform? <laughs> she asked me if I had work in the on the platform ah if i had worked <laughs> on the platform and did you <laughs> <laughs> really not <laughs> okay very good yeah. Oops. platform i'm sorry so look at this one guys exactly as your classmate did if the question is in past we are going to report it in the past perfect Got it. everyone? Yeah. Any questions so far? No. Are you sure? Oh, clear. Excellent. Okay, please, if you have questions, tell me, everyone. Now, let's start with the topic for today. Now, guys, we are going to use future. Okay, so let's see if you remember future. Will you go to the cinema this week? Everybody, what do you think? I don't think. Yes or no? No. No, I don't. Really. All right. So if the answer is yes, what can I say? Yes, I will. Yes, I will. If the answer is no. I will not. I won't. Exactly. I that is simple future. Yes, I will. If the answer is no, no, I won't. Let's have another question, everybody. Will you watch movie in your free time? Yes, I will. Ah, okay, and the rest of you guys? Yes, I will. Yes, no, maybe. Yes, uh -huh. I will. Ah, okay, pretty good. Yes, I will. Excellent. And how about this one? Will you wake up early tomorrow? Yes, I I will. Yes, I will. Yes, what, I will. <laughs> what time? At five. 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 Okay. At five. Five. 
Yeah, that's early, that's early. Okay, will you celebrate Christmas this year? Yes, I will. Yes, yes I will. Nice. And will you see the parade on Independence Day? What is parade? Oh, parade. Hey, guys, do you know what parade is? No, teacher. Okay. Desfile? Yes, that is the one. Parade is desfile. Will you see the parade on Independence Day this September 15th? No, I won't. Okay. And you guys? No? no? Nobody? Maybe, yes, Maybe. I will. Okay, pretty good. Now, if you see future, that is basically the type of questions that we are going to use right now. We are going to report just no questions in future. So what is the rule that we need to follow? Pretty easy. We are going to change will, and instead of will, we are going to use, look, will. would. As simple as that. Look at this one. Will the laptop be delivered on Monday? So the customer asks, or again, we can use different verbs. It's a just no question. Don't forget the word if. And then instead of saying will, I will say would. And remember that would is a modal. After a modal, the verb is always in a basic form. For example, let's review the questions that I just asked. Imagine that I say, um, will you watch movies in your free time? What did she ask? Uh-huh. Will you watch movies? Me if, watch movies in if I if would. I will. Uh huh. Watch the movies. Watch movies. Movies. That's it. All right. And remember, we can change the subject. For example, if I say, um, "Will she celebrate Christmas?" What did she ask everyone? Uh huh. She asked me. She asked me. Asked me if I would celebrate Christmas. Celebrate Christmas. Oops. Yes. She. Ah, if, if look, she, if don't she, forget the subject. If she, she would, would celebrate Christmas. So when we are reporting questions in future, it's pretty simple because we just need to change will for would. And then the rest of the sentence is exactly the same. Is it clear? Everyone? Yes. Questions? No teacher, no questions. Are you sure? Ready for an exam then, right? Hmm. Teacher. Yes. The verb inquired is to say have a you. Yeah, have a doubt. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, remember guys, again, we can use different verbs as long as the verbs means the same as ask, okay? So you can say inquire, wanting to know, required. Those are the verbs that you can use instead of ask. But if you feel that those verbs are difficult, okay, keep it simple and use the verb ask. Now, let's have a practice, everybody. Did you copy the structure? Did you copy the examples? Remember, guys, that this information also you can find it on your manuals in the page 20, okay? 
Uh, can I move? Yes, did you copy? Yes, teacher. Okay, pretty good. Now, I have here different sentences. I will be asking individual. Um, and you have to tell me what's the correct reported speech. Let me start asking to, 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 to Pamela. Pamela, number one, please. Um, she asked me if I would attend the meeting. All right, so she asked me if I would attend the meeting. Is that correct, everybody? I agree. Yes. Totally, that is the one. Pamela, pick one of your classmates, please. Um, Oscar. Oscar, number two, go ahead. She asked me if I would like his birthday present. If I would like his birthday present. Okay, do you agree, everyone? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So imagine change. in this case, the pronoun, the pronoun is he. The pronoun. Yes. Do I need to he. change it? Yes, let's change it. Yes or no? Yes, no, no. no. Yes. Well, in this case, guys, just think about, about it. Him? Uh huh. Just imagine that right now yes. I say, um, "Hey, everybody, will Oscar like his birthday present?" I'm talking about Oscar. So this is like if I say he. He changed. He changed. Yes, he changed he. So can I change he for I? No. No, no, I no, 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 because in that he's, case, it's like hey, the teacher asked if I like his birthday present. Para quién es el regalo? Para mí or it's for, for him. he? No. For him, he. He. For he. So in this case, the pronoun is for the us. same. She asked me if he would like his birthday present. Okay. Remember, guys, try to be careful in order to change the pronouns. Sometimes we need to change it, but sometimes we don't need it. Um, Oscar, pick one of your classmates, please. Maybe Sifrido. Sifrido, tell me the number three. What will be the report at the speech? Okay, I think so. The report is big. Is she asked me if the store will be closed tomorrow? If the store, okay, would, would be, be closed be... tomorrow. Thank you. So, guys, do you think that I need to change any pronouns here? No. Not really. No, not right? It's not necessary. Okay, Sifrido, pick one of your classmates, please. Um, Pamela. Oh, uh, she already participated. Try to pick someone else, please. Let me see. Osman. Osman, number four. What will be the report of the speech here? Okay, I want to try, teacher. Go ahead. Okay, will they go to the trip? She asked me if they were. Let me see. Were go to the tree okay everybody is that correct yes yes yes, yes. very good job so remember it's a just no question the first things that you need is the word if do i need to change the pronoun in this case no Not really no. right instead of saying will we change it we say would and the rest of the sentence is exactly the same. Osman, pick one of your classmates, please. Okay, let me see. Uh, my, my friend Nelson Peraza. Okay, Nelson, go ahead, number five. He's drinking water. <laughs> <laughs> 
I hope it's water. Okay, okay. <laughs> yes, it's water. Okay, she asked me is if uh, be nice tomorrow. If the weather uh -huh. uh, would be nice tomorrow. Okay. What do you think, guys? Do I need to do changes in the pronoun? The weather? No. No, no. right? No. It's the same subject. We don't need to change it. Pretty good. Okay, the last one. Nelson, pick one of your classmates, please. Okay. Carlos Mauricio. Thank you. Carlos, go ahead. Um, she asked me if... Um, if Janice will be at the restaurant. Mm, okay, everybody, what do you think? Is that correct? It's correct. For me, it's correct. correct, teacher. Yes. Do I need to change the proper name? Maybe Not sure. really. Not really. When we have proper names, let's use the proper names. So everyone, this is the way that we can report yes, no questions in future. Easy or difficult? What do you think? Easy. Easy. Easy? Easy. A piece of Easy. cake, yes? I think the reported future is the easiest one. Any questions so far? It's clear. All right. Did you copy? Yes, I did. Okay. The ones that are copying. Yes, everybody. Uh, uh, one moment, please. Okay. No worries. No worries. Now, guys, I want to everybody think in one question in future. Yes, no questions. Okay. You can ask about future plans, plans for the next year, plans for the next month. You can think about plans for tomorrow. I finish. Excellent, pretty good. So think about a question, okay? And this is what we are going to do. You have to ask your classmates, okay? We are going to have some speaking practice right now. I want you guys to ask just no questions to your classmates, but in future, okay? Again, you can ask about plans for the weekend, plans for the next year, plans for Christmas. You can ask plans for the next vacation. And as we did, you need to report what your classmates said. For example, will you go to work Next Saturday, what is a reported speech here? Will you work? Will you go to work next Saturday? Uh huh. He asked me if I would work. On, if I would, would go to work next Saturday. Pretty good. That's the one. Now, imagine the next one. Will you travel to another country, guys? Uh-huh. Well, what did she ask? She asked me. Yeah, she. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Go ahead, Barty. She asked me uh -huh. if I will. I will. To travel to another country on your next vacation. Ah, mm -hmm. on your next vacation? If I say I? Me. Me, I'm sorry. On Me. my. 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 <laughs> next vacation. Okay, no. that's the one. Pretty good job. So that's exactly what you have to do. Um, Because this is kind of easy guys we are going to have only a few minutes for this activity i know that we have a lot of listeners today so i expect that the ones that we are here please try to participate 
okay? Let me create a groups. Try to ask simple questions. Don't complicate so much, all right? Uh, mm, oops, oops, oops. Sorry, give me a second. If you are in a group and your classmates are not participating, tell me so I can switch you to another team. Give me a second. But please, everybody, try to enter to the breakup rooms. Okay. Remember, only just no questions. We are going to use only will, okay? I know that there are different ways to ask future, but in this moment, we are going to focus only in the auxiliary will. You ready, everybody? Yes? yes? Pretty good. Okay, let's go to work. Pamela. Hi, Carlos. Hi, Amanda. Hi. Um, so we have to <laughs> to ask questions and okay mm. and do a response speech. Mm, okay, Pamela. Uh, will you will? You go to the next vacation too. Sorry. Will you go to the next vacation too? Will you go to the next vacation too? The the next vacation too. I don't think I don't know if that's correct. Um. Yes, yes, you go to vacation next week. Or you can say we'll go on vacation. On, on vacation, okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Will you go to on vacation? No, will you go on vacation? Mm. Oh, don't okay. don't Let add the on. preposition to. Will you go mm. on oh. vacation? On, on vacation. Oh, okay. 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 In the in that case, will be. He asked me if I would go on vacation next week. Repeat, Pamela, please. He asked me if. I would go on vacation next week. And will you, Pamela, will you go on vacation next week? I will like, <laughs> but no, I have to work. <laughs> okay, pretty good, nice. Next question, please. Okay, me, um, for Amanda. Will you celebrate your birthday this year? Okay. Um, Pamela asked me if I will celebrate my birthday this year. And yes, I will. <laughs> when? In September, maybe, uh, I don't know, in my house or in my the brother's house. But when? When will you celebrate it? Oh, in September 29th. Oh my God, guys, let's have a party. <laughs> <laughs> sounds good, sounds good. Okay, Boris, um, will you, will you get a new, um, a new toy or a new stuff uh, the next day? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, a new? Will you get a new 
soy o stuff, I don't know, what do you like, for example, games or something of football. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I, I lost, I, I, I knew to, toy. A, a new toy, or game, toy. or cell phone. How, how, how do you spell toy? Oh, toy is like toy. A, a toy, como un juguete, right? A new toy, or a new cell phone, or a new computer, something new. Will you get okay, something uh, new? Okay, okay. Uh, she, she mm -hmm. asking me if I will get a new toy. That's good. Is correct? Yes. Okay. If I will receive a new toy. And will you, Boris, will you get a new toy? Uh, yes. <laughs> uh -huh. I... Uh, <laughs> I I get a, a new toy la, last weekend. I, I am last by, weekend I, or next weekend? Uh, last weekend. <laughs> I, 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 buy, I, 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 buy, I, I buy a new toy last weekend. <laughs> it's, okay. I, I buy a, a transfer. <laughs> Okay, but remember the ne the next the ne the next week the next weekend uh mm -hmm. I don't know no, I don't know I don't know today uh, possibly possibly okay possibly <laughs> okay it's, it's, it's toy for my daughter sounds good sounds good very good next question please. <laughs> right. will you go to the will you go to the beach? The next weekend? An answer? No, I will. No, no, no I, I won't. won't. All right, guys. Okay. okay, listen, nice job, but I can see that always in the practice, you always write the answers. My recommendations, guys, is don't write it because when you write it, you uh, take more time, okay? If you can only speak, that's much better because you can practice even more, all right? So try to pay attention to your classmate questions, but it is not necessary to write it, okay? Because okay. it's going to take more time. And that is the time that you can use in practice. Please. Okay. Mm -hmm. On this year, uh, Andrea, do you okay. want to do the? Sure. Uh, Jose asked me asked me if I will learn English this year, and definitely, definitely I will. <laughs> if I will learn. If yeah, learn, if I will, if I will learn English um, this year. Learn. Um, this year. Okay, so another questions. Questions. Mm, will you wash your car on on the weekend? Jose, you can say it. will. Will repeat, please. You can will say you it put it as we. Okay. Will you wash uh, your car on? This weekend, watch. Mm -hmm. Kevin asked me if I would watch the car this weekend. 
and ask me if if I would watch the this weekend. But I am my my stand my question was will you wash your car? Wash Peach. Nelson Nelson asked me if I were have have have, have yeah. the person will have a vacation on my next this year oh, no. if I Nelson asked me if I will will have vacation this year yes is correct Yes. This 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 topic is so difficult for me. <laughs> no, no. The topic vacation. Yeah. No, this the topic, uh, uh, this topic. I confuse. Yes. I confuse. You can put on the other side the of the the question and you can uh, um form the idea to to join the question and the report speech is uh, is complicated uh, but uh, if you try it you can yes the keys the keys the try the try we we i i, ha I need to try a lot for me, the way is that I I can understand. So ask another question, Osman. Okay. Do you have any question? Uh, let, let me see, let me see, let me see. Uh, uh, will the store be closed tomorrow? Will the store... Will the store be close, close, closer tomorrow? Ah, uh, we, uh, Osman, asked us if the store would be closed tomorrow. I'm right. Okay. Yeah. You're right. You're right. All right. Okay. The next. Oscar, tell us. Sorry, sorry. Uh, maybe I got a question for Osman. Uh, Osman, okay. will will you uh, will you go to bed early today? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Can you repeat, please? I know you got insomnia. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. my my question is, if you no no no, my question is. Will, Will you go to bed early today? Okay. Will you go to bed early today? Nelson, uh... do you get my question? What? Do you get my question? Yeah, yes, yes. Okay. Nelson, uh, try to Os say Os Nelson. Uh -huh. yes. Oscar asked ask me if if I were yes, I will get early. My bed today? No, no, no. We'll go. Go to ah, bed early. We'll go. And Oscar asked me if I will go early to my bed. Early to my bed today? To bed. To bed. Yeah, to bed. To bed. To bed. Go to bed. Early. Early right. today. Early today. today. Early today. And Honest. when you. Time stop. Let's go back to the main room, everybody. 
We are going to wait for your classmates. They are still in the breakup rooms. Time's up, time's up. Let's go back. All right, time's up. Let's go back to the main room. We are going to wait for your classmates. They are still in the breakup rooms. Okay, everyone, time's up, time's up. All right, I was listening very interesting questions. How was the practice, guys? Easy or difficult? Mm, easy. Uh -huh. Easy, okay. Uh-huh, and the rest of you? Uh-huh. How was the practice? The practice, is, it was interesting. Interesting, okay. Yes. Uh -huh, guys. Did your classmates ask correct questions in future? Yes? Yes. Sure. <laughs> Did your classmate use the correct structure of the reported speech? Yes. yes. Totally. <laughs> Spanish words? No. Never. <laughs> <laughs> okay, nice. Let me interview you. Um, let's see. In the team number one, it was Amanda. It was Pamela. I think it was Boris and Carlos, if I'm not wrong. Okay, let me ask. Boris, can you tell me what your classmates ask to you, please? Uh... Example, I, uh, Pamela, will you get a new toy? I'm, I'm sorry, Amanda. Okay. Will you, will you get a new a new toy? Mm -hmm. Amanda asked Amanda asked me if I will get a new toy. Ah, very good. That's a good reported speech. Okay, thank you, bodies. Um, let's welcome. see, let's see. In the team number two, it was Lorena, um, Carlos, Edwin, and Sifrido. So, uh, Edwin, hello, Edwin. Hello, teacher. Edwin, can you tell me what did your classmate ask? So, they asked. Uh, I don't remember. Uh huh. So, uh, the connector speech or the question? In oh, future? the reported the speech. Okay. Uh, Lorena asks if we would. Go to the beach on weekend. Ah, and will you, Elgin? Will you go to the beach? So, no, I won't. Uh, okay, pretty good, pretty good. Okay, let's see, let's see. In the team number three, it was, let's see, let's see. Andrea, Salvador, and Kevin. Andrea, can you tell me what questions did your classmate ask? Uh, yes, uh, Kevin asked me if I if I um, if I if I will wash the, my car this weekend. All right, very good. And um, mm -hmm. Jose uh -huh. asked me if I will learn English this year. And will you? Yes, I will. Uh -huh, very good, excellent, excellent. Okay, very good guys, you are doing great. 
Team number four. In the team number four, I had Nelson, Oscar Alexis, and Osman. Osman, tell me, what did your classmate ask? Oscar asked me if I were, will, will go early, uh, to, to my goal early. Okay, can you repeat again? Okay. Oscar asked me if I would go to my bed early. Ah, okay. And will you? Will you go to sleep early? Uh, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> I, yes, I I I'm going to go early. Good. I I, I hope that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, excellent. Okay, everybody, because of the time, I cannot ask you individually one by one, but I was listening to the groups and you were doing great. I like the questions you are asking correctly and you are using the correct structure of the reported speech. Very good job. Any questions so far, everyone, about the just no questions in future? Uh, yes, I have a question, but it's not about that. Uh, it's more about grammar. Go ahead. Uh, your microphone is off. Sorry. Uh, I, I, I make a question. Uh, will you go to the work at Christmas? But okay. some partners told me in is not at, is on, but I'm not sure. So can you help me, please? Absolutely. All right. In this case, guys, this is more for prepositions and prepositions in English are very important because in English, guys, one preposition can change the meaning of the sentence. So let me explain that. Um, my recommendation for everybody, please, I recommend you to review the topic of this prepositions in, at, and on. Believe me, it's a very useful topic. Okay, but let's focus on the sentence that your classmate said, at Christmas and on Christmas. Actually, guys, grammatically, both are correct. However, if you say at, the meaning is different and if you say on, the meaning is different. So when we say at Christmas, it's basically, guys, when we are talking about the season. Um, for example, in our country, <laughs> if you go to the supermarkets, if you go to the mall, you can start seeing decorations. Since when? <laughs> when do we start? looking the decorations what do you think november since november right so um basically guys if you say at christmas we are talking about the full season okay um for example if you have vacations in, for this season you can say i will have vacations on I'm sorry, at Christmas. If you say at, that means that you will have a vacations during the period of Christmas. So if you say at, we understand that it's going to be more than one day. So usually it can be one week or two weeks. So at Christmas is the season. On the other hand, if we say on, it's specifically only one day that in our country, when do we celebrate Christmas? 25. Mm, well, in our country, we have two days, right? The 24th is like the typical day that we have dinner and all of that. And the 25th is basically the day off. But when do we celebrate the party? You know, Christmas party, the 25th or the 24th? In 24th, our country. 24th. 24th. In our country is the 24th. 24th. Right? 
So if you say on Christmas, you are talking about specifically the 24th. So if you say, I will have, again, I can say the same sentence. I will have, oops, vacations on Christmas. What do you understand if I say on Christmas? It will be one week or it will be only one day? One day. It's one. going to be only one day. So one. that is the difference okay. between at Christmas and on Christmas. Got it? Yes. Got yes. it. Yes. Thank Excellent. You. So um, because of the time, I cannot give you more details or give more examples about it. But believe me, guys, on internet, you can find a lot of information. I highly recommend you to study the topic. Okay? Prepositions in, on, and at. You will find a lot of very important information. Okay? Thank you. You're very welcome. Okay. Any other questions that you may have, guys, about the reported speech? No? No, okay. it's clear. Ready for an exam? Ready. <laughs> Only one says ready, and the other ones? Yeah. I talk for a group. Ah, okay. Very good. <laughs> okay, listen. During the last week, we practiced different yes, no questions. We practiced um, yes, no questions in present. We practiced yes, no questions in simple past. And now we already practiced yes, no questions in future. future. Let's have a quick practice, like in general. I have here, guys, different sentences. If you see, I have just no questions in present, I have just no questions in future, and I have just no questions in past. Right now, I want you to rewrite each question in the reported speech, okay? So you have to use the correct grammar tense, okay? In this moment, in order to avoid confusions, Okay, let's try to keep it simple, okay? Let's try to use, let's see, we are going to, for example, in the number one says, is the item durable? In order to keep it simple, you can ask just like she asked, okay? That's the way that we are going to resolve it in this moment in order to avoid any kind of confusions. So in the number one, guys, what will be the reported speech? She asked. Uh-huh. She asked me. Okay, she asked me. If. They didn't. If, don't forget the word is. If the urine, the the urine, urine was durable. Okay, was, if the item. The item was durable. Was durable. Very good. If the item was durable. Okay. Now, important. This exercise appears on the platform. Okay. So on the platform, guys, the answer might be different because we are using a conversation between a customer that is in an online store. So on the platform, they will ask you to use uh, the word like, ah, the customer ask if, ta, 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 okay? But here is just like a quick practice. Now, I need a volunteer who wants to try with the number two. Volunteer, please. Each. I need, who's I mean? Bodies. Bodies, <laughs> excellent. Now, bodies, the next question is in future. Yes. What will be the report? Uh, she asked she ask me, she ask me if uh -huh. I will. Okay. No, if... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, yes, she yes. asked me if the item. Uh huh. Will. Would. Will. Will. Will be easy to use. It. Be easy, easy to. Easy to use. To use. 
to use. To use. Very to use. good. Excellent. So she asked me if the item will be easy to use. Now, I want you guys to pay attention how the grammar tense change. I have simple present. The reported speech is in simple. Yes. If I have future, the reported speech is with? Would. Would. Okay, bodies, pick one of your classmates, please. Osmar. Okay, go ahead. Osmar. Okay. okay. Three, please. Okay. And she she asked me. Uh-huh. If I mention I I'm not sure uh, I'm not I'm not I'm not sure teacher you were in here last Friday I remember um don't worry uh pick one of your classmates they are going to help you pick someone I would like to fight teacher okay no worries thank you Kevin Osman Kevin is going to help you Pay attention to Thank the you. structure that he is going to use. Go mm, ahead. Maybe she asked me if I have mentioned the dimension of the item. All right. The dimensions. I'm going to write it like this because of the space. Okay. So she asked me if I had mentioned the dimensions of the item. Again, look at how the grammar tenses changes. If I have simple past, the reported speech will be in... Past participle. Past participle. Perfect. Past perfect, past sorry. Perfect, past exactly. Perfect. And in the past perfect, mm -hmm. what do I need? Mm -hmm. I need the auxiliary had, and then I need the verb in past. In Simple past. past. Simple past? No, 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 no. Uh, past perfect. Past perfect? Uh, <laughs> ah, uh, listen, that can be, I know that with the names can be a little bit confusing. Let's keep it simple. Past perfect is the grammar tense. Es decir, el tiempo gramatical. Ok. Now, if you say past participle, ese es el name, ok, of the verb. Ok. That is the name of the verbs. We have the verbs in simple past. We have the verbs in past participle. So again, in this grammar tense, everybody, I need had, that is the auxiliary, and I need the verb in Past participle. That's the one. Very good. Okay, Kevin, pick one of your classmates, please. Okay. Um, Cifrido. Cifrido, can you tell me the number four, please? Mm, I'm not pretty sure, but I think so. The reporting speed is, if you ask me, it uh -huh. was the bottom shelf wide enough to hold a printer. Okay, she asked me if. Was the bottom shelf wide enough? Okay. To hold a printer. Okay, because of the space, I'm going to put it like this. So she asked me if was the bottom shelf wide enough. Mm, are you sure that this is the correct order? No, maybe the bottom was. Ah, the bottom shelf was. Remember, in this case, guys, we need to put it like in an affirmative sentence. So let's switch was. And then we are going to say, she asked me the if the bottom shelf was. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. Remember, it's like an affirmative sentence. Subject verb and then the complement 
And again, look at the grammar tense. Simple present, the reported speech is in past. Sifrido, can you pick one of your classmates, please? The next one. I'm sorry, Jose Salvador. Thank you. Okay, Salvador, number five. Do you charge extra fees for shopping? She asked me uh -huh. if I had charged extra fees for shipping. Extra fees for shipping. Hmm, what do you think, guys? Is that correct? No, because it's present. Ah, if I have simple present, in which grammar tense I need to report it? Past. 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 In past. So how can I say this sentence in past? Did you check church? Church. Okay, again, please. So she asked me if, if I, charge. I charge extra fields. Do I need an auxiliary or something? No. no. Not in this case, right? No, because the past. sentence is in past. So I just need to change the verb in past. Very good, very good. Salvador, you can pick one of your classmates, please. Lorena. Thank you, Lorena. Number six. Go ahead. Um, she asked me if I have I have a uh, um maybe done the guarantee cover the cost of the repairs. Mm. Okay, pay attention here. You need to identify the subject. So did the guarantee uh, cover? Uh, what is the subject here? The guarantee. The guarantee. And what is the verb? Cover. cover. Ah, cover. So she asked me if the guarantee, uh, guarantee. Uh, uh, had a cover. Pronunciation? Covered. Cover. Ah, the cost of the of repair. Very good. So when we are talking about the reported speech, we need to be very careful with the subject. Again, sometimes we can change it, but sometimes it's not necessary. But be careful with that. Okay? Easy or difficult? Everybody, what do you think? It's the fifth thing. So, so. So, <laughs> I know, guys, that with this topic, our mind is thinking in a lot of grammar tenses, right? We are thinking in present, in past, in future, in past perfect, the verbs in present, the verbs in past, the verbs in past participle. So it's very difficult because you have to think a lot. I know that is difficult. But the idea to practice these topics, guys, is that we need to be able to remember all the grammar tenses. We are intermediate five. At this point, you need to know all the grammar tenses. Okay, you need to know the future, you need to know the present, the present continues, the past, the perfect tenses. Okay, at this point, it is necessary to dominate all the grammar tenses. Remember, if you want to have a conversation in English, are you going to talk only in simple present? What do you think? No. Not really, right? Just imagine in Spanish. Do we speak only in present in Spanish? Hmm. <laughs> No, we combine a lot of grammar tenses. So that's the idea in English too, okay? If you feel that one of these grammar tenses is difficult for you, that is the ones that we need to practice more. If you think, ah, teacher, for me, simple past is difficult. So that is the grammar tense that we need to practice more. 
okay? If you think, no, future, for me, future is difficult. Okay, let's practice future, okay? Any questions so far, everybody? Questions, questions? Teacher, what is the warranty? Warranty, what is that, everybody? Have you ever seen that warranty? Guarantee, maybe. Okay, do you agree, everyone? Yeah. A hundred percent sure? Yes. But guarantee is yeah. right, different, right? Exactly. So in this case, guys, and that is something that I want you um, to keep in mind, guaranteed, it can be written in different ways. We can write it exactly as it is right here, or we can write it like this. Okay, both both are exactly the same. So I'm clarifying this because sometimes you can find this one or you can find the other one, but the meaning is the same. Okay. And the pronunciation teacher is the same. Guarantee. Mm -hmm. Yes. Any other questions that you may have? Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. I don't know the word peace. The word what? Peace. And then question number five. Do you share extra fees? Oh, extra fees. Okay. In this case, guys, if I'm talking about extra fee, um, basically I'm talking about like como un pago extra o un cargo extra. That is extra fee. Un cargo extra about something. Mm -hmm. Okay, got it. You're welcome. Uh huh. Any other question? What is the meaning of the sentence for? Of the center for? Or. Is the bottom shelf wide enough to hold the printer? Hmm, what do you think, guys? What am I saying here? If what? I'm, number four. If I'm talking about a shelf, what is the meaning of shelf? Estante. Exactly. So estamos hablando de que si el estante o si el fondo del estante is, what is the meaning of wide? Eh, ancho. Exactly. Si es lo suficientemente ancho, ¿para qué? Mantener el... Hmm, mantener. El impresor, soportar. Impresor. Exactly. It, it will be more like sostener, right? It's like wide enough para sostener el impresor, right? O la impresora. That is the meaning of the number four. Thank you. You're very welcome. Now, everybody, we already studied, reported the speech for affirmative, negative, and questions and imperatives. Now, we just need to use reported the speech for information questions and we are going to see the reported speech information questions in different grammar tenses in present in past and in future the structure and the changes are basically the same there is only one detail that is going to change but believe me this is a piece of cake now, let's start with the reported speech information questions in simple present. I need a volunteer, please, for reading this part. I can. Yes, go ahead. Remember, when reporting things that other people say or ask, the verb tense often shifts, shifts back. Report information questions using ask, inquire, want to know, plus uh, wh word plus close 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 okay. yeah close sentence word order thank you important everybody so if you see basically this is exactly the same as in the previous exercises we always shift back what is the meaning of shift back let's see if you remember return to, to go uh-huh sorry can we... yes. You need to go to the past time. Exactly. Oh. If we are in simple present, we are going to report it in? Yes. Exactly. That is 
shift back. Now, as in the previous example, we can use different verbs. What are some of the verbs that we can use? Look, ask, inquired, want to know, all right? And we have more, um, ordered, required. So we can use different verbs. Now, again, the rule is the same. If the question is in simple present, we are going to, uh, to report it in simple past, okay? Let's see an example. There is a customer and the customer asks, what is the process to return a product? Is this a just no question or an information question? An information question. Yes. Remember guys, an information question starts with a double H word. So what is the first things that I need? As always, the subject, right? The customer, look, ask. You can say, ask me or just ask. And then, do I need the word is? Yes or no? No. Not anymore. No. That's the only things that is going to change. We are not going to use if. Instead oh, it's of going the to word be easy. if. I'm sorry? It's going to be easy if we just <laughs> to change if more double, double questions. That's it, exactly. So guys, in this case, we don't use the word if. Instead of using the word if, we are going to use the double H question. I mean, the double H word that we had in the question. What is the double H word that I have here? What? what? All right, so I say what. Now, important. We need to report the sentence as in affirmative. What is the subject in this sentence? What is the process to return a product? The process? So all of this, the process to return a product. And at the end, we are going to send the verb. So a customer asks, what the process to return a product was. I know that these examples that appears in the manuals are like kind of confusing, but let me give you simple examples. Imagine that I ask, what is your name? Very easy question. What did she ask? She asked me, ask me. Uh, she asked me, she asked what? What? what my name what my, what my was? name what my name was. is was. 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 is or it was. 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 was 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 now let me ask you something can i say she asked me what was my name can i say this what do you think no 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 because in this case, it sounds like a question and we need to use it as an affirmative sentence. So if you put it in this order, no. The verb was is at the end, okay? So what is your name? She asked me what my name was. Another example, Um, imagine, let's change the double H word, if I say, how are you? How are Easy you? question. What did she ask? She asked, asked me uh -huh. how, 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 how I how was. was. That's it. She asked me how I was. All right? We don't use the word if anymore. We are just going to use the double H word. Yeah. Now, this is when we have the verb to be. What happens if I have an auxiliary? For example, where do you live? 
Hmm. What did she ask? She asked me. Uh huh. Where? Where I live. Where I live. Where I where I live. Where I lived. Lived. Uh, lived. Excellent. Lived. Exaggerate the pronunciation. Where I lived. Okay, so this is the way that we can report speech with the information questions. Listen, the only things that is going to change is that instead of using if, I'm going to use the double H word that appears in the sentence. That's the only difference. Got it? Yes? Got it. I believe. <laughs> I like that. I think so. <laughs> but during the exam, mm. <laughs> okay, copy the examples, please. And we are going to have some exercises. And don't worry, guys, we are going to continue practicing this topic. I know that it's kind of mm -hmm. difficult and confusing, but we are going to have more practice. In the a question? Yes, go ahead. Uh, the the where the where do no no right in this case guys uh, the verb do actually it is not working as a verb in this sentence if i say where do you live what is the function of the do in this case it's, auxiliary. it's an auxiliary so if i'm saying the sentence like an affirmative sentence do I need an auxiliary? No. No, okay. really. Mm -hmm. okay, okay. Thank you. You're very welcome. Okay. Did you finish, everyone? No. No. I'm okay. Sorry. Let me know when you finish, and we are going to have a practice. Copy everyone, copy the example that is going to help you. Let me know when you finish. And remember, guys, that this information is also in your manuals. So it's in the page 23. So you can find the information there. You can write examples for that, that we have here. And also, if you want to read the information again, go to the manual, guys. And don't forget, if one day you cannot be here in the class, always you can watch the video of the class so you can understand the topic a bit better. Okay, you're done, Boris? Yes, yes. Yes, everybody, can I move? Okay, let's have a practice. I'm going to share with you some sentences and you have to tell me what the correct report of the speech is but before that i'm going to check attendance one more time when you listen to your names everybody say present okay but please say presence everybody sometimes i don't listen to you um amanda zamora present thank you ana lorena lovato present teacher thank you boris alexander cortez present teacher thank you Carlos Alberto Dominguez. Carlos Ernesto Hernández. Present. Thank you. Carlos Mauricio Menjivar. Present. Thank you. Edwin Antonio Quinteros. Okay. Present. Too. Okay. Elías Neftalí Martínez. 
Eulice Torres Torres, Irma Evelyn Rodríguez, José Salvador Bernal. Presente. Thank you. Osman Atilio Serrano. Kevin Alexander Pérez. Kevin Alfredo Lucero. Present. Okay. María José Sigüenza. Nelson Alberto Peraza. Present. Okay. Oscar Alexis Lara. Present dicho. Thank you. Osman Enrique Hernández. Present. All right. Pamela Carolina Molina. Present. Thank you. Rafael Alexander Serna. Ricardo Ernesto Pérez. Cifrido Ernesto Gómez. Present teacher. Thank you. Wilber Alberto Pérez. Present teacher. Thank you. Andrea Yamilet Mendoza. Present. Excellent. Very good. Yeah. Okay, everyone. Oh my gosh, it's very late. Okay, I think that we are not going to have like a lot of time. So let's try to complete some of the sentences and tomorrow we are going to continue practicing. Look at the first question. Where are you? What did she ask? How are you? <laughs> yes, ben. Okay, she asked me. She asked me how I... Listen, listen. Remember, if I'm talking about I, what is the verb to be for I? Was. Was. If instead of I, I say you, in that case, we say you were. But in this case, the subject is? I. I. Look at the next one. Where do you park your car? What did she ask? She asked me. Where, 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 where I park my car. My car. My car. My car. My car. My or your? My. 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 So look at this one. She asked me where. I don't forget, guys, that if you have regular verbs, let's try to exaggerate, please, the pronunciation of the ED. Parked my car. Park. Okay, next one. Where are you from? She asked me, asked me, she asked me where, where I was where from. from. Where I was? Um, oh. Easy, very good. You are doing great. If you see, guys, the only difference between the yes no questions and the information questions is that we change. Instead of using the word if, we use the double H word. Next, uh, volunteer, how old are you? She asked me. Uh huh. She asked me how. I or mm, remember that in this I, case how old I, uh, goes together. Yes. How old is together? Old. Uh -huh. She asked me how old I, I was. was. Ah, very good. She asked me how old I was. Very good. Number five. Volunteer, please, for the number five. In in the for she asked me is oh it's missing the word me yes yeah. <laughs> that's okay. correct thank you very good okay number five volunteer he asked me uh-huh how often i took out the trash all right is that correct everyone I don't know. <laughs> it is. Yes. Yes, no. yes, 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 yes. Instead of yes. saying take, it's took. took. Okay. Yes. Number, uh, oh my gosh. This is the last one because of the time. 
Where is the nearest bank? Mm -hmm. She well, asked me. Excuse me. She asked me. Where the nearest bank? Where the where nearest the bank? bank? Okay. Nearest where the, bank the was. nearest was. bank was? Was. was pretty good job that's the one okay if you see that is the structure everyone don't forget that the second part is like an affirmative sentence that's why we are sending the verb at the, the end. yes is it clear awesome. yes? so far yes <laughs> all right we are for going moment. to practice. For we moment. are going to practice <laughs> for the moment. For when the I moment. ask individual, <laughs> is that we, we start to hesitate? In okay. Group is... <laughs> when we go it's to the easy. breaking room, <laughs> absolutely. Don't worry, guys. We are going to continue practicing. Okay. So I know that it's a difficult topic, but it is not impossible. Okay. Now, guys, okay. we don't have more time, but as always, we have a winner. Um, the winner was Edwin, but he's not here. The next in the list is Elias, but <laughs> Elias is not here either, I guess. Um, Irma, I think she's not there. So Salvador is here. So he is our winner. Okay. Congratulations. <laughs> So the rest of you guys are totally free to go. Have a wonderful night and see you tomorrow. Thanks. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. See you guys. Only Salvador stays. Good night. Good night. Take care. Good night. All right. Salvador. Hello. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. How did you feel the class? I feel... Very well. Ah, very good. So, what is the weather in your city, Salvador? Is it raining today? Here is raining. Is it raining right now? Uh, a little. A little, really? So, you are going to have a fresh night? Yes. Excellent. Good for you. Good for you. All right. So, in this case, uh, Salvador, uh, you know that this moment is just to clarify some questions that you may have. So is there any question about the topic? I know that this topic is a little bit difficult. So do you have any questions so far? Eh, <clears throat> solo voy a hablar en español. All right. Este, en la parte de los imperativos es que tenía bastante dudas. Mm -hmm. Pero yo estuve explicándolo en, en la clase. Yo traté de hacerlos y los probé de diferentes maneras y no podía. Okay. So, we can see some examples right now if you want. Mm -hmm. Okay. Imperatives. Okay, the first thing that you have to remember is that the imperatives are orders. For example, mm -hmm. stand up. That's an imperative. So... Los imperatives, when we use a reported speech, is like an order, all right? Remember que los imperatives son como órdenes, right? It's an order. So we are going to say, she ordered in past. Ah, ella me ordenó. ¿Qué me ordenó ella? She ordered me. And in this case, the only things that you need to do is infinitive verb. Preposition. And the verb in infinitive, that means no changes. She ordered me to stand up. Okay. Mm -hmm. Another example. Imagine if I say, um, sit down. Uh -huh. Tell me the reported speech, please. Mm, she ordered me uh -huh. to sit, sit down. She ordered me? To uh -huh. sit down. Exactly. As simple as that. In this case, mm -hmm. we don't need anything else. Only the preposition to and the verbs in infinitive. Mm -hmm. But there are some imperatives that are 
in negative. So if we have imperatives in negative, what do we need to do? For example, um, don't eat. Mm, what did she um, order? She ordered me not. Uh-huh. Not to, to, to eat. eat. Yes. Instead of saying don't, we only say not. And then the rule is the same, verb in infinitive. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give you an example and you tell me the reported speech. Um, imagine that I say, don't speak in Spanish. Uh-huh. Mm, she ordered me uh -huh. to speak in mm, Spanish. It's negative. Uh -huh. She ordered me not uh -huh. to speak in Spanish. That's the one. So you see, now you are reporting in imperatives. Mm -hmm. Is it clear? Yes. Sí. Cuando es pregunta, me puede ayudar. Absolutely. Of course. Just no questions? Mm -hmm. Okay. Con las just no questions in simple present. Remember, si tenemos simple present, lo vamos a reportar en qué tiempo gramatical? Simple past. Exactly, in simple past. Si la pregunta está en simple past, ¿en qué tiempo lo vamos a reportar? Past perfect. En el past perfect. Y si tengo future con will, ¿cómo lo vamos a reportar? Would. Exactly. Let's see an example. Um, yo le doy la question y usted me dice reported speech. Do you work? What did she ask? Mm, she asked me uh -huh. if I work. Worked. Okay. Worked. I need the verb in past. Yes, Salvador. That's correct. Now, veamos el siguiente. Simple past. Um, did you mm, mm, sleep early? What did she ask? She asked me yes. if I had slept early. Good job. You are doing great. So you see, excellent. That's the one. Now, a question in future. Um, will you study? Mm, she asked me uh -huh. if I would study. Perfect. That's the one. So you see, acaba de usar el reported speech en tres tiempos gramaticales diferentes. Mm -hmm. Very good job. Mm -hmm. Easy or difficult? Mm -hmm. Oh, man. <laughs> I know, I know. But that's why we are going to continue practicing this topic tomorrow. Okay? Sí. Pretty good. Do you have any other questions, Salvador? Solamente una cosa final. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Eh, cada vez que estoy en, en, en su clase, mm -hmm. eh, veo como su entusiasmo contagia a todos mis compañeros. <laughs> that's Entonces, good. Entonces, um, Sin duda, Dios le ha dado a usted un don especial para la enseñanza. Ah, oh, thank sí, you. Usted está utilizándolo de manera apropiada. Y agradezco <ríe> mucho al Señor porque usted dispone de su tiempo y su talento, su conocimiento para enseñarnos a otros este idioma tan bonito. Ah, oh, thank verdad, you, Salvador. Yo, yo nunca había estudiado inglés, en serio. Yo, yo eh, en la escuela. The first time? En el En la universidad nunca le puse importancia. <risa> okay. Siempre consideré que no iba a poder aprender este idioma. Ajá, but no. Me ha interesado, me ha interesado y, y eh, me cuesta hablarlo, pero fíjese que yo le, yo le entiendo. Todo lo que usted dice en la clase, yo se lo entiendo. Porque That's estas cosas great. Veces, no, no, pero... Felicito, porque usted tiene un, un talento especial, maestro. Uh, thank you. Maestro. Thank you. I do appreciate your, uh, your work. Thank you a lot. 
And uh, quiero motivarlo, si se fija, I mean, para ser la primera vez que ha tomado la clase, sí que, que en serio, ¿no? Y como usted menciona, antes no, no ponía atención en la universidad o cosas así, pero ahora sí, y aunque nos cueste un poco, pero si se fija, yo lo he notado en las clases, usted siempre participa, y en los breakup rooms, ahí lo estoy escuchando también, así que sigamos practicando siempre, ¿ok? You are doing a good job. Very good. Ok, thank you, Salvador. Muchas gracias por su palabra. De verdad lo aprecio. Así que, bueno, nos quedamos acá y espero verlo mañana en clase siempre participando, ¿ok? Está bien, si Dios lo permite. Excelente. Good night. See you tomorrow.